Hey gorgeous, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a comparison between Amouage's Blossom Love and All Ha Remains Janoon Rose. I've heard so much about how these two fragrances smell alike and I have some thoughts. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. You already know how excited I am to spend some time with you and chat fragrances today. But before we jump into this comparison video, to those of you who are new, thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail. On this channel, I talk luxury, I do review videos, I share my fragrance journey, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle in my monthly vlogs, which by the way, one is coming up very soon. So if any of those things pique your interest, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. If you've been following my channel for a little bit, you will know that I've been loving Arabian fragrances. It has been such a fun journey and I am absolutely blown away by the quality of the fragrances for the price. So I've been picking up fragrances here and there and in one of my last videos, I asked for suggestions on fragrances and one of my lovely subscribers suggested that I pick up All Ha Remains Janoon Rose. Now, when researching Janoon Rose, I saw so many reviews and people keep saying that this is a dupe for Amouage's Blossom Love. So I went to my local mall and got my nose on Blossom Love. I have a sample here and I'm ready to share my thoughts on these two fragrances. So let's go ahead and talk about Blossom Love. Now Blossom Love retails for about $380, but you can get it on the gray market for anywhere between $155 and $269 is the highest I saw it for. And you get 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 ml of fragrance in the bottle. Blossom Love opens up with Heliotrope and Bergamot. And Heliotrope is a floral that has a little bit of a powdery nuance. And then at the mid you get Amaretto, Cherry Blossom, Ylang, and Rose. At the base of this fragrance you get tonka bean vanilla amber and suede for me blossom love opens up powdery and bright and that dissipates pretty quickly maybe within about 10 to 15 minutes you start getting into the mid notes of blossom love as the fragrance dried down what i noticed is that it became sort of denser and sweeter silkier and slightly creamy at the base i do pick up on that suede note but the suede is not a very prominent note the suede just adds a little bit of complexity a little bit of boldness to the base of this fragrance and overall i feel like this fragrance opens up powdery and then it transitions into something a little bit sweeter, denser, and slightly creamy, silkier, bolder by the time it dries down. Now the projection and sillage on Blossom Love is moderate in my opinion. When you first spray Blossom Love, it does give you a really nice arm's length projection, a beautiful sillage, but by the time you hit the four hour mark, it's pretty much non-existent on the skin and you can still pick it up on the clothes, but it's very light it definitely becomes more of an intimate wear by the time you get to the five six hour mark so now let's talk about Janoon Rose by Al Haramain for Al Haramain's Janoon Rose you can purchase this fragrance anywhere from $37 to as much as $55 online Janoon Rose has very similar notes to Blossom Love however the order of the notes is different and the way that the notes transition in in this wear is also very different. However, the notes are almost identical. In the opening of Janoon Rose, you get cherry, ylang, and bergamot. You get an accord called powdery notes, you get heliotrope, you get rose, and the amaretto note. At the base of this fragrance, you get amber, suede, and tonka. So the only note missing from the base is vanilla, and then there's an added powdery notes accord at the mid of this fragrance, which is not present in Blossom Love. Those are the differences in the notes. And then as you can see, the way that the notes are ordered is very different as well. Now, when I first sprayed this out in the opening of Janoon Rose, it's very, very sweet 
and I definitely pick up on that cherry note. I also detect a very beautiful Elaine note. Bergamot is not very prominent to my nose. It's more so the Elaine, which has this banana-like nuance, and then the cherry. So the opening of this is a bit more bolder than the opening of Blossom Love, which is more powdery. So this opens up very sweet, and the Elaine is very present, and it has a very distinct quality, and that's present in the opening of this. After about like 15 minutes or so, this starts getting powdery and then the rose comes in the rose in here is a modern rose so if you're not the biggest fan of rose don't let that scare you rose is not a very prominent note in either fragrance it's a note that you can definitely detect you can definitely pick it up but neither fragrance is very rose forward this rose here is a very soft rose it's a rose that's cloaked and covered by powdery notes and in the note breakdown that's what you get now I forgot to mention the amaretto note is definitely present but I feel like the amaretto note might be a little bit more prominent in Blossom Love than it is in Janoon Rose. However it is still there and I do still pick it up but I think it's a little bit more prominent in Blossom Love. Blossom Love comes across as slightly sweeter and more bold overall than Janoon Rose. Janoon Rose is very similar to Blossom Love. They smell almost exactly alike except it gets powdery and it gets softer and more feminine and delicate the longer you wear it. It's also slightly less sweet because there is the absence of the vanilla note but it still has sweetness and you still get that amaretto soaked rose and cherry and a lang nuance. It just gets a little bit more powdery and softer the longer you wear it. Now as far as performance this is a 10 out of 10 performer. The longevity is insane. This will be on your clothes until you wash and probably after you wash your clothes. I did the PJ test and this was still on my PJs in the morning going strong and projecting at an arm's length. So this is a very beautiful performer. The projection when you first spray this is more than an arm's length away. The sillage is gorgeous. The longevity on this is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So now to share my opinion on how the two compare. In my opinion, Janoon Rose is almost the exact same fragrance except it wears more powdery and soft and it continues to get softer throughout the wear so that by the time this dries down completely it's a very soft powdery amaretto rose fragrance now as far as blossom love blossom love wears a little bit more silky sweeter and denser and it wears that way throughout most of the wear on the deep deep dry down is when it gets a little bit softer but overall blossom love has a little bit more of a bolder presence a slightly sweeter presence and also it's a little bit more silky and dense by the time you get to those base notes. Other than that, the two fragrances are pretty much similar. I would say Janoon Rose is about 93 to 95% similar to Blossom Love. And while I can't tell you which one to get because that's a totally personal decision, in my opinion, I would always go for Janoon Rose because it's almost the exact same fragrance. And while there are slight differences in nuances, the price difference is significant and significant enough for me to go with the dupe is such an amazing price difference but you still get a niche fragrance with better performance in Janoon Rose. So those are my thoughts. If you are still here thank you so much for still being here. I appreciate you so much and if you enjoy fragrance content I make quite a bit of it on this channel so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. If you plan on picking up Janoon Rose let me know in the comment section and if you have Janoon Rose and Blossom Love and you have an opinion, definitely share it down in the comments as well. I would love to know your thoughts on how these two fragrances compare. All right, friend. So before we part ways today, I just want to remind you that I see you and I'm rooting for you. So if you have not heard that at all this week, this month, this year, I am rooting for you. So keep your head up and keep moving forward. I will be over here doing the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.